Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this Epi podcast. I'm playing against Cron Aberrant on Rooftop Showdown. This is actually the latest EXP version of Rooftop Showdown, by the way. So I'm going to be playing Vekir and Cron Aberrant. Sounds like he is going for Grekum. So should go into a bit of detail after I set up my initial build. The latest version of EXP has a few small differences. First one, pretty major one actually. Resource processors are now 100 liquid crystal to build, but they gather at double rate. So for the amount of money you spend, you get the same gather rate, but they actually do have a higher cost overall. So it's easier to saturate a single base because they have higher gather rate per RP, but it's also less necessary to expand. I gotta just double check my placement here. I accidentally made this. Oh no, this is right next to it. I don't know what's going on here. Anyhow. As I was saying, the resource processors are more expensive but more powerful individually, which means harassment is more effective because actually killing them or stopping them is going to be a much bigger economic blow. But at the same time, having resource processors in a base, well, you can have more of them in a base before you get to the point where it's oversaturated. Or to the point where you start running out because liquid crystal and QP box energy has also been increased. So there's more liquid crystal and Q plasma in a given box. And the amount of resources you get for having a set number of RPs is obviously higher. This does mean, however, that you can only start with about 3 RPs at most. It also means that you can't expand as easily because you can't build as many RPs in the expansion and then build other stuff around it. Still, in a map like Rooftop Showdown, the, main ex the secondary expansion is right next to the main base, so it's very easy to expand. Anyway, we're just going to... Get a fast forward and double check my Shinbeer attacking Cranamert. Cranamert is going for Grekum, and the only big change with Grekum is that they have an extra Seppi to start out. They otherwise are identical. Well, they have one RP instead of two because otherwise it'd be broken, since you know RPs are more expensive now. So having two RPs to start off would kind of be broken in their favor, but it is still a little bit of an advantage to them because the extra sepi is kind of nice for scouting and that's something that Grekum has always needed is additional scouting. The other... Now, there's not a lot of changes in that. That's about it. Grekum has been otherwise unchanged. Vecure has only really been changed in that Teth Turchers now have Calm Jam as opposed to Zion Halcyons, so Specials is a bit more useful since you can get Calm Jam more easily. And here comes the... Seppi coming in. Now, Seppi's are, of course, anti-air units, so the Zion Beer being an anti-ground unit can just make short work of it. Still a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's not as big of a deal as it could be if it weren't for the fact that the Zion Beer is now heavily damaged, actually. That wasn't... Wow, that wasn't a small change. That actually did do a fair amount of damage. Now, well, let's get a new one, make the current one into a Zion Pulsar. Get skip teleports on my Zion Pulsars, and you there? Oh, I should also mention, yeah, Vecchio got Zion... A second Zion Beer instead of a Teth Beer to start out. So it's a bit more useful. Both these changes were actually suggested by Cron Aberrant, who's my opponent right now. So we'll see if he regrets those changes. Though I think he won't, because he really enjoys having the second Seppi start out for Grekum. I don't think he's going to be getting mad at me for putting the changes he asked for. I mean, he put in the changes in EXP when he was on the version yet, because this is actually rebased from vanilla. Otherwise, it's unchanged from the vanilla because I wanted to just double check how it would work based on just those changes. And it looks like Cron Aberrant is going to be... He's fending off my Shin Beer. That's no surprise at all. My Shin Beer is not going to last, but it's kind of done its job. Actually, I'm curious, though, what he has built in his base. Let's just scout out his base. The Shin Beer is going to die anyway, so I might as well see what's going on. So he is saturating his main base quite a bit and has an Articus in the back, and he's going heavily for LC, so I'm expecting a lot of base class units, which... Zion Pulsars aren't bad at dealing with, so I'll stick with Zion Pulsars, maybe get some Zion Turcher later on. Or actually, base class units are... Well, only one of them is really good against air, so I think I might actually be able to pull this off. Nope. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, or you can Zion Pulsar, that works too. There we go. And now you upgrade Skip Teleport. And you upgrade Skip Teleport. So both of them have Skip Teleport. Remain having Skipping Teleport. And let's see, my Zion Beer in the bottom, building the RPs I want. So nothing has changed here yet, though I am a bit worried that Cron Aberrant is changing what he did down here. Let's see. Mm. And he's focusing a bit more on damaging my bottom Zion Beer, but otherwise, not much. Looks like this Zion Beer is just now undamaged. Oh well, whatever. 
Still Zion Pulsar. Zion Pulsar is still powerful, so I'm going to go with it. Ah. And now the Zion Pulsar is putting itself in a bad spot. You go over... You can't go over there. That's impassable. It's silly me. I should know this. Yep. Oh. Nope. Okay, well, you harass the RPs, and hopefully they'll be at least somewhat useful. And you get up here... Well, the Octo is going to be causing me no end of trouble. Crap, get out of there. Okay, Zion Pulsars are not the best bet. Let's get an Aerial Control Center and use that instead, getting air units. And that should be a bit more helpful. You get out of there. Now, Kronimer is likely to be changing his plan of action, so my micro right now is not going to be that useful. Ultimately, won't matter much. But, I might as well at least do it a bit. And you build me another RP here. You give me an Aerial Control Center. And you get me specials, because he's not actually going for anything that would stop Calm Jam. Because I want to show off the more useful Calm Jam. And get me a Zion Pulsar, another one. Actually, you can go back home. Crap, you get... Oh, wow, that was embarrassing. Quit embarrassing yourself, Zion Pulsar. Go back home. Don't do anything else. Go back to the depot. Heal up. And let the other Zion Pulsar do some damage before you start tearing everything apart. Now, of course, thankfully with the Zion Pulsars, they do deal a lot of damage, so... Ah, Octo coming here. Okay. And it looks like his healing up, so he does have a Reef available that is healing up his forces. But I also... Okay, so you go back in the base, Zion Pulsar gets back into the main base, while the second Zion Pulsar that was in here before starts damaging the RPs, getting rid of QP, so he's bit less able to build air units. And, oh crap, not there. Let's take out his QP, so he's not able to build air units as easily, and... Okay, got rid of that Octo. But like I said, Crynomer may be doing, doing other things on top of this, so I really don't know how this is going to work out. I am, however, getting my Teth... The Teth Torture I was talking about, I'm getting a Shin Pulsar as well, just for extra air support. Now, of course, Karnamrit is behind me right now, and I'm suspicious that this is not going to go... Yeah, this is not going to go well at all for me. Crap. Okay, you being the one that moved back, you go over here to begin with, actually. Don't even go where you were. Now, bear in mind, Reefs do have the ability to recover statuses, but if you apply enough Calm Jam to them, they tend to just not be able to heal anymore. So it doesn't work out too badly, actually. Let's get him right now to deal with the RPs, and it should be rather difficult for Kron Aberrant to deal with this. He probably doesn't have much Kron energy left. However, he does have he does have Octopods, and Octopods are still a bit of a problem. You go back home. And you damage this reef, although it's not doing too much, ultimately. Well, then damage the RPs, because that's at least some... Oh, come on! Okay, well, of course, Kron Aberrant's always been good at the bubble wrap, so... Not entirely surprised I'm not able to do anything. Okay, well, you go back home, get back into the depot, and where's my other Zion Pulsar? I had another one that was going back to the depot. Ah, that's where it ended up. You go back home. Let's just, let's do a concerted push later on. No, no, no. concerted push. That means don't just go in one at a time. So... Teleport will still be useful, but... Okay, now I'm getting the Teth Turcher. Okay, did I lose anything else here? I am taking a bit of extra damage, and it looks like... No, but he is getting area units. I gotta be careful now. Where is my Teth... Okay, my Teth Turcher is almost done. Actually, I'm probably another one. I'm gonna get another Teth Turcher. Wait, where's the Teth Turcher I was building before? What the heck? Had... What do you mean, where's my... Where's my... Arg. Okay, so apparently I don't have a Teth Turcher just coming up right now. Now I do! Get any of the Teth Turcher, I really need one of those. And a Shin Pulsar. Like I said, more air support. Always good. And you guys, I want you to answer to that Zion Pulsar. Now, before... Actually, let's go into a bit of a harassment party. And you two... Go up here, and I want you to just calm jam the base. 
want you on Calm Jam duty and get a Zion Turcher as well to deal with it. So, like I said, Ted Turchers now have Calm Jam, not Zion Halcyons. One major change that... And like I said, yes, Reefs will deal with Calm Jam, however... Oh, crap. Get, get out, get out, get out, no, ow. Okay. Okay, you build... Oh, crap, okay. Want to build a foundation in the middle of the map. You, yeah, go become a Zion Pulsar, or Zion Tercher. Get out of here. You, since you're completely unharassed at this point. And, all right, I guess, okay, Sibipods and Tethurches are pretty even when it comes to what they can do. So, that is priority. Calm Jam. Calm Jam, go back, heal. So they get another foundation, I want to turn into a depot and then heal up further. Oh, and Harassment Party's not done anything. Okay, well, Harassment Party, go into the base. You harass. You become a depot. You go back in. You help with the calm jamming. Because, like I said, calm jamming will waste reef energy. Actually, you just get off here. But yeah, calm jamming wastes reef energy, so that means less healing. Oh, it looks like. Okay, the reef's out of energy. Awesome, now healing will stop. I can focus entirely on just smashing him into pieces. Because the healing can stop. It's like the opposite of therapy. We work until the healing stops. Where is... Okay, so Crown Amaret is very ways behind me in time, however. And he is harassing my north base. Crap. Oh well, like I said. We're still not in a terrible spot. And... Ted Searcher healing up. Okay, so at least... At least he knew where to go. No, 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 you go back here. You go back here. And you... Get me another Zion Veer. And actually, get me another Teth Turcher as well. And you Zion Turcher's going to attack. Where is my... Oh, right, you're over here. Where's my second Teth Turcher? Ah, here he is. Still heavily damaged, but... Otherwise not doing terribly bad. Okay, now we're now we're at the point where no healing is happening. No, mostly no healing is happening. The far pods are still recovery units, but at least the reefs aren't going to be healing up very much. Man, I'm getting a lot of zon I need more QPRPs. I need a lot more QPRPs. Oops. Can you go over here and build that there? Oh, okay, that was unexpected. Oh, he built another reef. Well, at any rate, still calm jammed out. What? Chronopart depart- oh, great. Well, regardless, his main base still does not have any healing going on, so... I can harass it decently well, but he is chronoporting now, and that's bad. That's really bad, I do not want to see that. I'm gonna get gate tech myself, but I don't know how long it'll last. No, Ted Searcher, go back, heal up. Actually, you guys as well go back and heal up. Wait, what? How is healing happening? I guess enough reefs means there's still just enough energy to heal up. Oh well, the healing's almost out of the way, but now I've got to worry about what's happening in the Unplayable Past. So in the Unplayable Past, we see that Pharopods have attacked me. Crap. Well, this ruins everything. I'm screwed. I don't, really don't see any way out of this, because that's total undermining. And I can't Chronoport back to stop this, and I don't know where it Chronoported from. I suppose if I go over here. I mean, if he attacked from here, that might... Oh, yeah, there we go. And that's where the Chronoport would start it from. 
so you go over there. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm done. Yeah, there's a fire pod here, but that was probably the one that had already chronoported back and dealt the damage it needed to deal, so... Yeah, not a good spot. I'm really not sure how to deal with this. And he still has communication ability in his main base. And you are not... Shit. Suicide mission! Calm jam everything, get out of there! Or try to... No, you're not gonna get out of there. You're screwed. Well, still, managed to calm jam everything. At the very least, I can slow him down a bit. <sighs> well, and I also have a depot close to his base, so that gives me some advantage, but not a whole lot. I still need some way of getting chronoporting up. And of course, now that I've lost my primary expansion, I have very little economy available. Where is my re- okay, there he is. Oops. Okay, you build me more RPs. Because at least I can secure myself in my main base and not have to worry about too much else. And then ultimately get gate tech. And go for my big attack, where I will calm jam everything again. And, actually, this is dealing a fair amount of damage. Wow, this is surprising. Didn't expect so much damage to be dealt, and of course, being that it's calm jammed, there's very little that Chronaver can actually do against all this as it happens. It's just... That's the whole point of Calm Jam. And that's why I focused heavily on specials rather than, say, Gate Tech, which I'm going to be getting now. Going to be getting now, since I now can. So this is a bit of a risky move, actually. I think I might be in a bit of a... Oh, shoot. Wait, where's my Teth... Oh, darn it! Where'd my Teth Tercher go? Ah, stupid non-existing Teth Tercher. And of course, you're, you're a Zion Veer. Why are you a Zion Veer? Ugh. Just what I need. Well, now I need a Ted Searcher, because now my attack is totally useless. Ah, oh, well. Moving back, move back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, great, and of course my main base is now getting heavily attacked. Wait, what? My... Darn it, I'm supposed to be able to see chronoports when they happen. Great. And I guess we're back to Farapods dominating the metagame again. <sighs> perfect. Well, I don't know anyone that's supposed to get out of this, since now he's completely destroyed my economy, and I have nothing. I have this one RP. That, that's it. That's really all I've got. I guess I could teleport it over to LC to give myself a bit of a fighting chance, but I'm basically done. Oh well, good game. Not the best game, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night, everyone.